Asanteni sana kwa kujumuika na si leo mchana wa leo Vibe Zero Talk Show live from Parkview Hotel. We are glad that you are watching and we are glad that you are uh, you are able to see 2022 the second day of 2022 na niko na ma guest hapa ambao wamefika yep chana ni jioni ya leo jioni ya leo jioni sha fika yep so thank you very much guys for availing yourself to vibe zero talk show and this is not the first time even 2021 tumekuwa na show na mkuza I think you are very uh, I'm glad that you're the first people to be hosted at vibe zero talk show yes So what I mean pay time at least mseme majina kwa wale ambao maybe the first time wana tuona kwa vibe zero talk show let me start with the gentleman yeah hello guys i think you already know me i am Charles Mariga nilikuwa hapa to the previous show uh, i'm glad that you are watching us from wherever you are uh those who have tuned in we thank god for you and we thank god for the new year and i know here at vibe zero talk show we always vibe and talk about things especially those things which are we are planning this new year tutaongea tu mengi hiyo tu ni kujintroduce uh asante sana thank you very much msikia sauti sauti imekubalika kijana na kipawa ya kuhubiri so karibu uh, sana Yep. Okay guys, how are you? My name is Joanna Maya. Um, I'm happy to be here in Vibe Zero Talk Show. It's my pleasure. I'm happy you're tuning in and we love you so much. Just be ready to hear more and great things from us. Thank you. Asante sana. Uh, happy New Year everyone who is watching us from Gujumbira from Khartoum uh, from Nairobi everywhere across Africa and in Europe thank you very much for supporting us on Vibe Zero Talk Show na leo tunataka kuongea kuhusu mikakati ya uh, mwaka wa 2022 ambayo hii Mungu ametuwezesha kufika huu mwaka wa 2022 tulikuwa tumeingoja sana na leo hii imefika labda tunianzie kwa ku uh, kuliza wageni wangu leo hapa kuhusu mlisherekea vipi hii mwaka kuvuka mwaka ilikupata wapi ah mimi niseme kuvuka mwaka ilinipata nyumbani hmm. ah, kulikuwa na sherehe pale nyumbani ka house party hmm. ka home party tulikuwa na family pia pale family guests ah, tulikula tukakunywa tukasherekea na pale pale tulimshukuru Mungu kwa huu mwaka ambao umepita ametuwezesha kuona siku ambayo ni, ni siku kuu e, ilikuwa ni siku ya furaha sana na tulifurahia sana kula na kunywa pamoja vizuri mlikunywa vinywaji kama gani <laughs> yeah, tuli... ama ulipeana neno did you get, what was the what, what were you celebrating about yeah, yeah tulikuwa tunasherekea kuhusu kuzaliwa kwa Yesu we are celebrating about our savior you know the day jesus uh, was was born uh, ilikuwa ni siku kubwa ambayo mwangaza umekuja 25th of first first lakini 2021 oh 2021 first first of january Oh ah sorry sorry <laughs> I yeah. just feel like speaking about uh, the the past year. <laughs> oh uh, the way we we welcome the the, the new, new year, year. Exactly. yes yes ah uh, tulikuwa pale kanisani for us yes my friend i'm too proud uh, about what you are doing yes as a young person yes thank you especially that you are preaching the word of god yes uh, yanik uh, Uh, kudos yes thank you that's very thank you, good brother. thank you brother so you celebrated with preaching and uh, sharing the word of god eh? yep yep okay that's good we'll hear more about you let's hear from the lady ulivuka mwaka ni 31st ilikupata wapi okay 31st i was in church in mm. fact we prepared earlier mm. then we went to church at jcc bamburi mm. so first we we praised we were happy and when that time like seconds to to come to 2022 mm. we really danced enjoyed 
and uh, pastor wilfred lai gave us the the like the slogan yeah the slogan of the year like it was hold fast so i was totally blessed and i really thank god for it and i'm very very happy about 2022 Hey guys, mulivuka vizuri. So do you just go to, to, do you go on church on 31st on the Monday na kila siku? No, me I do go. Yeah. Like I do attend like mm. I might not say every Sunday but I do attend. You do attend, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's attender. very good. Yes. Because we find that most youth at your age they just go to church on 31st when they go <laughs> kivuka. No, but I'm glad big. that today yeah I changed you changed <laughs> I used, you used to be 31st <laughs> but only. now yeah but now um, I'm good <laughs> okay that's very good uh, to hear from you guys I also was uh, uh, blessed to vuka vizuri on 31st you were praying and having bonfire uh, the most important thing is that we prayed that uh, we prayed and thank God for the year 2021 and God has made us to see the year 2022 and we are live here at Vibe Zero Talk Show. So guys, let us uh, move on uh, about our topic ab- which is about uh, uh, the plants or mikakati ambayo tuko nayo kama 2022 especially young person uh, like us here. So let me start with the, uh, Mariga. What plants do you have for this 2022? Yeah, uh, I have a lot of plants. Mm. Uh, niko na mikakati mingi. Mm. Uh, kuna vitu ambavyo si ku achieve 2021. Mm. Uh, ninapanga kuzi achieve 2022. So niko na mtihani sijafanya. Mm. Uh, on the completion of my course lazima mm. nitafanya huo mtihani. Yeah. Na 2022 ninajitayarisha believe financially, mm. spiritually uh, na hata educationally pia niingie mm. pale mm. ni konka hiyo mtihani mm. i have already overcome the fear i believe god that i've overcome, I've overcome the fear also i have target with my business yeah uh, although i'm still young but i'm <laughs> doing some businesses here and there okay. uh, trying to hustle and get to the top okay that's very good let me wacha tuni kuulize swali uh, nasikia uko na mpango mzuri sana especially uh, especially especially as a young person eh yeah kidogo tu yeah so like to you how how like how is 2022 to you ha <laughs> <laughs> 2022 i think is a good year mm. i feel the joy inside 2022 mm. uh, when 31st i was in church i was yes. feeling that that vibe which is coming with 2022 and i know it will be not just uh, an year mm. uh, it will be a, an year of change and expansion mm. <laughs> oh, sorry for that <laughs> so <laughs> anyway that was good so uh, i'm very inspired by what you are planning to do Yep. as a young person yep. and uh, may god see you through your plans eh? man, man. yeah i'll bado kwa acha tuende kwa huyu kwanza so we ni mikakati gani ambayo uko nayo me i have a lot of expectations hmm. and first hmm. i just wish that god to to protect me hmm. in this year like just to show me the direction like mm. i just be with god that's my first expectation that kusikwe na any other ways that i just be with god until the end mm. then second i really wish that i'll go on with my studies mm. and that is like it's it's like in my my hopes mm. like i will truly go on with my studies mm. and then i just thank I just wish that it will be an easy year mm. with full of happiness that is it like okay. it itakuwa tu mwaka ya kuteremka sile ya kupanda na kushuka kuteremka peke yake na ukislide uanguke no so long as i'm going as long as you're going I'm, yeah i'm not through yeah. nyuma that okay. is it yeah. so so what are the things kivitu gani ambazo unaweka ili usi 
upate challenges like the first thing mm. like being like dwelling in church i was told like that 31st mm. going first they it, we were told that if you want to overcome those challenges just dwell in church you are that you can dwell in church but not yours. praying you can go, st- <laughs> go oh. and stay in church <laughs> <laughs> no like you can be you can be attending services mm. just dwelling like making the church your house praying whatever you can overcome through it like if you're not so at work at school you are in church that is it so like kusikue na kitu itakupata okay niko na swali hapo yeah tumeona sana on the first year watu wana make resolution mm-hmm. the first month wanaendanga to church eh yeah, wanaendanga <laughs> to church kifika hapo march huwa wana wana sao kidogo wanakosa kwenda church mm-hmm. uh umai kwa hiyo situation eh huh? Uh, ikifika valentine wewe ina ina fade wewe kwa hiyo situation eh mm. alafu true mm. even you will realize that first ndo mm. watu wengi wanaokoka mlikuwa wengi church ndio yeah tulikuwa wengi alafu wengi wao huokoka mpaka wanasema sana tanza kwenda church but when it comes sasa january kameisha feb hapo mm. siku ya wapenda nao ikianza things become tight so like Aizi aizi rudi back kwa ile anasahau. So yeah. anakuwa like ah mbona sasa so ignorance. That ignorance anasema nangoja mpaka eh nangoja 231 December do you say? Do you say? So I hope you are not going to make another resolution ah, in that. No, no no no. no. I hmm? made mine and I've decided that that is. Wapi uliokoka hiyo wakati ama before? <laughs> <laughs> no before. Before? Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Let's hear from uh, Mariga. Uh, Mariga, <coughs> I heard that you have a lot of plans that you want to achieve before the end of this year. Yeah. And uh, on your side, kitu gani mkakati gani ambayo una make so that unaweza ku achieve business yako ionekane vizuri? Yeah. Uh, ili mtihani upite. Yeah. Na ili pia overcome zile challenges as a young person. Yeah, uh, kuna strategies, uh, mm. kuna strategies nina make ya mm. kwamba this year nimeamua Mm. mambo yote ambayo si achieve ama zile downs and falls mm. zile mistakes ninasahau kwanza mm. i put them behind me mm. sasa nina focus on my future on your so future. nime realize kwamba zile vitu zimepita zinakuwa ni kama ni burden so i have to release them mm. na nipige hatua mbele hiyo ni strategy ya kwanza ya pili Uh, I know that you cannot achieve something without consistency. Mm. So when I'm opening my business I have to be consistent. Hakuna kulala ni, ni kuchapa kazi. Chapa kazi. Uh, unajua hata Biblia inatuambia vijana wana nguvu. Mm. So as a youth and mm. my father always encourages me mm. I should not sleep. So Which I should father? not sleep. Your God already. Uh, my biological father my biological father <laughs> good earth, yes. okay okay yes, he keeps encouraging me that uh, i should be consistent na uh, i should not get tired hmm. na niendelee kusonga mbele so uh, some advice to my uh, to, yeah, to our fans in fact that is what i wanted to ask you about other young people yeah. ambao may lose hope na unasema hii imeanza and they don't know where to start So, so which advice will you give them after you have for, forgotten everything and left everything behind mm. now you can have some objective mm. because these are plans you cannot have plans without some objectives mm. uh is there some short goals mm. that you want uh you know the problem about young people they think uh, about huge things mm. but when you start with small achievements ukianza tu na kale ka biashara kana kupatia 20 Hmm. Mia unaona uh, hapo ndo utapata ile encouragement na utapata ile belief kuwa unaweza fanya ka kitu. So I was just speaking to a young person there outside hey, yes. and he was telling me how can I start uh, hmm. uh, he was having some fear hmm. lakini nikamu encourage nikamwambia hata mimi nilikuwa hapo nikianzisha biashara hmm. some people were talking here and there lakini nikagundua hmm. those small achievements Uh, mm. the moment you take the decision to start mm. that the ones which give you the encouragement to go further mm. i think umesikia my fans eh? yep. so don't put the fears down the fear of unknown the year in a coin impediment sana sana for young people to 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 do something yep. isn't it and set your objective and goals yep. mrembo 
Umesikia? Lazima tuweke plans, tuweke objective ndio tuweze kuona ku achieve. Najua kuna warembo kama wewe. Wako, si ndio? Wengi sana. Hata unakubali. <laughs> Wako so, wengi sana. Yeah. But unapata ya kwamba maybe uh, this year wanapata challenges in terms of uh, the resolution ambayo umesema kama hiyo ya kuokoka na kuendelea na na mipango ambayo wanapanga mm. maybe advice gani ambayo unaweza wapea ili wapia waweze wakifika 31st uh, December of 2022 waseme kwamba we've been here but today we have achieved something first hmm. for you to to remain like in the same position like umeamua you've made your resolutions mm. then you've said this and this yeah first as it has been said Mm. You cannot have goals then like you sleep. Mm. You sleep on the goals. Mm. You have to achieve the goals. Yeah. So for you to achieve the goals you must go extra mile. Mm. Yeah, like think outside but not thinking negatively, thinking positively. Sure. To ujimekwe mwenyewe to grow like mm. growing health wise, physically, mm. yeah, everything. Mm-mm. Yeah. So that is it just work on your goals. Mm. Like Ebuni anyaye kucha yako. Unaona vile ziko smart. <laughs> Kuna warembo wana watch na wako na kucha smart kama ukiambia waende kuosha uh, kufanya hizi kazi za kuguza makaa. Unakubali unafikiria wanaweza kukubali? Ah, hakuna mtu anataka. Kucha kucha iko too smart eh? Hakuna eh? mtu anataka kufanya kazi like hmm. like sijui I don't know but kuna wale wale kama nyinyi na kuna wale waezi. wale kama nyinyi wanaweza fanya ama <laughs> wale kama nyinyi waezi fanya kama mimi hmm. kuna mtu anataka afanye kazi yenye like kazi ana deserve hmm. yeah you do what so you deserve gani no. <laughs> actually me i deserve a good job <laughs> sio uchafu no a white collar job i do great <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah, so do you think do you think that uh, Uh, doing this other job cannot make you achieve your objective or goals it can hmm. it can so long as you set your goal like unaweza andika mahali 2022 is like my expectation 2022 i want to do this i want to do i want to drive my own car i yeah. want to build my own house hmm. so that ukishai make hmm. you tick you tick Then at the end you'll say thank you to God or at the end you'll say God I needed this but it has not been fulfilled so please remember this so in the next year I, in the next year Okay I, I want to to borrow something from what you just said that you like white collar job Yeah you like white collar job I really like and Slay queen Makucho utaki aridiwe na waka si ndio Actually yes. <laughs> Lakini sasa kama hiyo ndio iko na unataka pesa. Actually siezi kata mtu Kogo, akatai, kucha itaribika alafu tatengeneza baadaye ile pesa ambayo umeuza nao makaa. Yeah, I cannot be sleeping forever. So like nitakuwa vipi? So I will do what what is there to make me move to the next level. I like as long that. as I know sitabaki hapo. No condition is permanent. That I like that. Yeah. Ni kama hiyo preaching ulisikia vizuri sana from Pastor Lai, si ndio? Kabisa. another thing yenye naweza boro ni kwamba you deserve what yeah. you want. I, I like that that, that just boro from Christianity is that uh, you have to declare what you want. That is it. Isn't confess it? Si ndio Pastor? Like uh, you have to declare what you want. True. If you want to own a car this year that is it so god will provide drive. you want to drive and you focus on it like but you can drive and crash with the car what do you, so why do you want to drive a car i just want like to drive like maybe it's my it's like a dream like one day i want to drive my own car and feel that comfort what what feel what about if we put it like this may god provide me with something mm-hmm. that uh, with the with the purpose if it is a car let it help the me community. not really the community but yeah. maybe my work or it will take you from one place to another yeah 
uh, maybe ukinipata nikichapo na matopo unaweza nipea lift pia si ndio nikienda sure. church unanipea lift eh? kabisa so th- those are the the vision that uh, as a person yeah, and as a positive mind like you yeah. if you have you will of course achieve them yeah don't usikue pride pride na pride yeah yeah hmm. usikue na pride sababu hmm. too much of pride aiendi popote mm-hmm. it will cause you na itaku affect kabisa kabisa like itaku ukikuwa na ile pride i'm driving so mm. so yeah. so utajikuta you may mess up mm. and you just come from unabaki kule zero kule so, zero yeah. yeah so like just cool know what you want na ukipewa tumia vizuri na ushukuru mungu si ndio asante that is came from mariga mariga yeah. there, there, there are a lot of challenges do you believe that challenges are there do you believe that you will face them uh, in fact i believe that mm. challenges are part of life mm. life itself is a challenge mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, when god created heaven and earth mm. it was already a challenge yeah the word of god says the earth was void void it yes <laughs> it was yeah, that's yeah. a good so, word yes <laughs> anything you want to do in this life mm. it ma- god has showed us already with the sign in the bible that it has it must have a challenge uh, you know there is this uh, again a spirit which is roaming around calling call, it is called the devil yes yes so it is here to challenge us always to discourage us but the bible has given us the authority to to step on the devil sure amen yeah. so as a youth when you have challenges know that uh you cannot know when you have grown without passing through a challenge huh? you know uh, you cannot know the the growth so there you will know the level where i wa- I, I was when you are challenged with a small problem mm. and then you overcome it and then another bigger problem comes and then you overcome So when you get to that uh, another smaller problem you will have that encouragement that if I face the other challenge then I will face this one. So another thing is that challenges builds people. Those prominent people you know if you listen to their story you will know that the the challenges are what have made them. Hey wacha tu hapo yani when you preach here bro let's <laughs> end a church. <laughs> Lakini that is something uh, I've even been thinking about even when we were crossing the year that uh, the, 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 the challenges that I face every day and I, I think I was just thinking in my mind that I appreciate those people who, who, who belittle me. Yaani napenda wale ambao wananichukia ambao wanasema ya kwamba I cannot make it because the reason you know the reason yeah. the reason is because when God make us to cross over the other side they will see that God is really working. Yeah. yeah? and any time you face challenges I, i i always love to see bigger challenges yes the bigger you get the bigger challenges the more you get haters and yes. you get those people who belittle you yes and once you achieve them god's name is glorified <laughs> hallelujah yeah so uh, i think it's just a, a good uh, step and mindset that young people like you have and also sharing with people live here at Vibe Zero Talk Show. I've just arrived from another country this morning yeah. and yeah. when I was there uh, I met a um, mzungu from German. Yeah. And he really challenges. He said that in Africa we have got a lot of resources but uh, the resources which are there we are not utilizing them very well. We like the white collar job. <laughs> What the lady was saying here. <laughs> Yet we see kuna a lot of resources kama agriculture which are there which you can really utilize. Yeah. And what we lack is the what you're just saying the fear. And we see that a small thing cannot grow to be big. Yep. It can always be big. Anything yeah. you start small as a young person is watching. Yep. Know that you can grow from wherever place you are. Yep. Because everything must grow. Everything must grow and especially if you put God first in everything that you're doing. Yes. Yes. Sindio? Yes. Can I continue preaching? <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think our time is almost. Yeah. So guys, uh I've heard what you have for the year 2022 and it's going to be a good year. One thing that I can say is that 
for me, I was not really seeing as if I'm closing the year. Every day is just the same. 31st and 1st is the same. Why, 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 why am I saying this? It's because I have a mind that says, tell, uh, tells me that my God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. Even if I'm crossing from 31st to 1st, it's yes. still the same God. Yes. And uh, I know most people are saying that the year 2022 is my year. The year 2021 was not my year. Every year was my year. Yep. <laughs> Whether it was 2021 or 2022, yep. remember I still have the same God. He yep. will be the same God in 2022. Yes. And if we didn't achieve whatever you wanted to achieve in 2021, it means that God's purpose was not there. Yes. And you didn't need that thing. Yes. So if I didn't have a car last year, it means that I didn't need that car that time. If I didn't manage to achieve in that business at that time, maybe I didn't, I was not in need of it. Yes. So uh, even as we close, you know, calendar is just a number, 2022, 2021. Mm. What we should have as young people is that that every day, every time God is working. Yes. <laughs> Cindy? Yes. That's <laughs> so guys, as we are winding up the show, and we are looking forward for 2022, we are going to be more vibrant. Cindy? Yes. White collar jobs it akuza. Complete. Kabisa. I like the, the positive mind. So maybe the, your last word as you are winding, and also we, you can wish people... Uh, uh, happy new year yeah. for those people who believe there is a happy new year <laughs> <laughs> not like me <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can wish them yeah. and your family wherever place they are watching uh, uh, maybe final words before you wish them yes uh, kile kitu naezaongelea kwamba kila mwaka una mambo yake so for those who are fearing challenges i want to tell them 2022 there will be more challenges and they, they will be greater than those who are in 2021 because your life ha has to move to another step. So what I'm encouraging you is that uh, get yourself out of that sleeping place and start to work. So the moment uh, the devil is pushing you to a wall and you are ignoring the devil, uh, then there you'll get the power to move on. Because uh, what, one thing I want to tell you is that the devil does not like ignorance. Uh, that is the thing I want to testify. When, the moment you're ignoring the devil, now uh, the devil will flee away from you. The Bible also says resist the devil and he will he flee away, away from you. So with those few remarks, I want to wish uh, you people a happy new year. I know you just have to believe it will be a great for you. It will be a great year for you. And a lot of things which didn't happen in 2021 they are going to happen to you in 2022. Uh, to my family, my parents, ni wasalimia tu kidogo na ndugu zangu pale, my sisters and my brothers. Uh, you can mention their name. Uh, sister angu yuko pale anaitua Esther Wanjiko. Uh, I'm glad to have a big sister like her. Yeah. She encourages me every day. My my father, Peter Njoroge, and uh, my mother, Kadzo Ndire. I like that mother. Uh, she's a woman of God and uh, encourages me all the time. Uh, and my younger siblings there, there is that ka Kalas born. It's called <laughs> Johnson. Uh, uh. Johnson. And, and my younger sister is called uh, Happy Fura. Happy uh, for uh, his, uh, his two name names is, in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His, his name means joy. Joy. Uh, and there's been a lot of joy in our family. Sure. So, uh, thank you, my my people. Amen, amen. I didn't know that you're a preacher like this, <laughs> and until I saw it on your page yes. uh, yesterday, uh, seeing you preaching, and I was really encouraged. Yes. May God bless your step and may God bless everything that you need to achieve. Amen. And I like the mindset that you have, by the way. Amen. That is the mindset that I, I admire and, and that has made me to be who I am today. Amen. The mindset of believing and having God inside you. Amen. May God bless you and your family. I know your mom, Amen. she's a woman of God. Yes. And I think that is where you also come from. <laughs> so may God bless your family. Amen. Thank you very much. And now the final parting shot and shout out to those who are watching. 
Okay, my final word to you out there. I uh, just want to tell you that this 2022, it's a year of happiness. And just hold whatever you have, whatever you have. Just hold it so as to get great things that you desire. Just hold it first so that you can get those bigger things. Amen. That's my message. Amen. And uh, shout out to my mom, Lena, my dad, Amaya, yes. my sister, Irene, mm -hmm. Phoebe, Mildred, my brother Moses, I love you so much, guys. You are the one who has made me to be where I am, and I really love you so much. I wish you all the best. And um, I just want to tell you that I, God will protect you, and I wish you a very prosperous year of 2022. I love you so much. Hey, you are hey, emotions, yeah, no, my feelings. They have made you who you are today. True. Thank you very much for making her to be who she is. And that's why she appears here on the Vibe Zero Talk Show. Kabisa. Thank you very much. Eh? Yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, maybe my final uh, words uh, concerning the topic about Nikakati 2022. Uh, it all depends on you. Uh, nobody will stop you unless you stop yourself. Once you believe in God... Nothing is impossible. That is, book of Luke 137 says that nothing is impossible with God. If Mary got a baby while she was a virgin, if Abraham got a child when he was at the old age, and if Daniel was in the tomb of lions, and the lions were just soothing him with the, with the, the, the far, ama skin. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, yes. but you understand. Yeah. The lions didn't touch. And if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego <laughs> on the fire, yes. they said that even if our God is not going to save us from this, let it be known that He is God. Yeah. So even this year, if the situation is going to be tough, let it be known that you have a God who is working. <laughs> Even if things are going to be tough, yeah. you still have a God. Yeah. One thing I usually say is that even if you die, let it be known that there is a God who reigns <laughs> on your situation. Because one thing is you never live if you have God. There's something inside you that lives. That is yeah. the spirit that Jesus left when he was going to heaven. Yeah. And Everything you need this year, 2022, you'll get it. It doesn't mean that you're going to get a car or you're going to have a big business. Every little step, the breath that you're breathing today on 2nd of 2022 yeah. is already a miracle. Yeah. So stay focused and stay positive in everything that you're doing. Know that you are one person who is unique, who is living. And if you die today there will be no any other Mariga or Amaya. Yeah. <laughs> because God said that he created you on his own image. You look yeah. like him. True. In every aspect. Mm -hmm. And once you have those kind of uh, mindset, nothing will stop you. You will achieve your goals. You will achieve anything that you need to achieve on this earth. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have money to see that you have achieved it. You don't need to be too much educated so that you think you have achieved your goals on 2022. True. You need to know God to know that you've achieved it when yeah. it comes on 31st. God first. Yeah, that is what you believe in, Vibe Zero Talk Show. True. And this year, expect more of positive mindset in the community. We want to impact people. Mm. And I'm glad that my brother is going to preach also, <laughs> I can see. And Amaya is going to inspire people with different stories so that you can see a community that is blessed. A community that knows themselves. You know, once you know yourself, you cannot be cheated. Because sita danganyo ya komba, mimi si justas, mimi ni justas, na jua, I know myself. Na jua, sindi yo. So once you have youth who know themselves like you, like me, nothing can challenge us. Isn't it? So take this year 2022 as a year that everything that God has planned for you are going to achieve it. Okay? 
Yeah. And on Vibe Zero Talk Show, we are going to be vibrant. We are going to have different tours in different places and different topics on the street to make mm-hmm. the positive impact. Because you are the only number one online talk show in East and Central Africa that bring you a uh, clean content uh, with real conversation, with real talk. And penye tumetoka ni mbali. Na penye tunda ni mbali sana. Sindio? Yeah. With the positive uh, mindset, we are going to make it. And nothing is impossible with God if we believe in Him. Sure. And so let me take this opportunity to wish you a uh, happy new year 2022. Yeah. Uh, come 31st of December 2022, you're going to share with us uh, your achievement that God has yeah. made through you. Yeah. And as we're winding up the show, I'd like to to start with the gift because we are tumebarikiwa by the way kama vibe zero, huh? Eh? Mm-hmm. Tumebarikiwa ni vile tu mlikuja late kidogo lakini kuna t-shirts. Kwanza mtapata t-shirt zenu. Sawa. Mm. Let me start with those people <laughs> when you took now up. Yeah. And anybody who is watching us live, I want five people. The first people will subscribe first. Five people. Kama uko wapi? Uko Uganda, uko Kenya, uko Nairobi, uko Nakuru. The first people will subscribe I'll just see it on the YouTube. You will get your gift of t-shirts at any color you need. Now you will contact me on this number 0728 046 536. At toxinde yo yako, so that you make the change. I'm not giving you a t-shirt because I'm just giving you a t-shirt. I'm giving you a t-shirt so that you can make the positive impact that you want to see in the community. Yeah. Is it it? Yeah. So subscribe and contact me on that number. Then I'll just see how I can send it to you. Whether you're in Kampala, Uganda, Nairobi, you'll receive your gift from us, Vibe Zero Talk Show. And uh, before I forget, I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate all Vibe Zero crew, starting from you guys. You've made it. Thank you. Uh, that's why Vibe Zero is here. Thank you Thank very much. And all uh, the executive uh, editors, that is Joe Ram Wandawiro, he's behind the camera. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Thank you very much for the, the 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 sacrifice and the job that you are doing behind the camera together with Livingstone Odero. We really appreciate you. There's nothing that you can give you more than praying to God to guide you in everything that you do and God's favor to follow you. Yeah. Also Faith, uh, Sally, um, all the the the, the Vibe Zero crew. Thank you very much whatever place you're watching. Uh, Trish from Nairobi, thank you for your support. And also a uh, lot to people from Tanzania that is Vicky from uh, Dar es Salaam uh, dynasty from Moshi and Abbas from Muheza thank you very much guys for your support and this year we are going to see more of positive impact so as we are winding up the show maybe you have something you want to add one minute you don't have unta kuongeza lakini one minute less than a minute eh kitu kidogo tu unaweza enda pale YouTube yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, niko na channel yangu inaitwa Junior Banjoro 254 it's just JR Banjoro 254 kuna kitu pale pia unabarikiwa upande wa kucheka yeah. comedy pale nzuri nzuri mm. uh, na Mungu atakubariki amen amen okay as we finish mm. I just wish you all the best and I love you so much. Mm. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much and let's support the, uh, our brother here Mariga. He has a good a comedy YouTube channel and those are the things that you want to see. Uh, if you have your channel, you can promote your channel, you can also subscribe um, uh, increase subscription because our goal is not competition. Our goal is to make positive impact to young people so that we have a positive mindset in the community so let's support each other let's support uh, our brother on his youtube channel and you will enjoy and you will get the impact yeah sidani kauni na mengi ila tuku wish uh, new year to my younger brother elvis special day for you elvis may god bless you as you start a new year Thank you very much guys. Uh I was your host Justo. 
live from Parkview Hotel. You also uh, appreciate Parkview Hotel for giving us this opportunity to host this uh, show every Sunday here. Thank you very much. It's a place where you can enjoy. You've got good restaurants, you've got rooms, you've got, it's, it's just a, a beautiful place to, to be when you're in Mombasa. You, you can't miss to enjoy this place. So anytime you're in Mombasa, just come to Parkview Hotel. You'll get all the enjoyment that you need and you won't regret your holiday. So thank you very much. I was your host, Justo, uh, at Vibe Zero Talk Show. Mbariki wetu sada. Bye. God bless you. Namsi sawa kujia t-shirt. Mwondike yo namba mkujia t-shirt. Sawa. Bye. Bye.